Do you use Sony Vegas and struggle with getting that fresh, crisp looking quality once it's uploaded to YouTube? I got the solution for you my friend, presenting H.264 Codec. I'm going to show you a comparison of the same clip rendered in two separate codecs uploaded to YouTube so you can see for yourself. The clip to the left is encoded with MP4 and 50k bitrate and the clip to the right is H.264. I don't need to tell you who's the winner, right? First off I'm gonna explain to you why this happens. Let's say you are done with editing your video and it's time to render. You have heard that MP4 is really good and the higher bitrate the better. That's true. The quality is great. Until you upload it to YouTube. So why does it do this? When you upload a clip to YouTube you will see that it says processing clip in the end. That's YouTube's own converter working on your clip to fit the YouTube standards. So what it basically does is making your greatly processed video look worse by processing it even more. YouTube uses the H.264 codec as its internal codec, which means if you're already uploading in H.264, it won't be processed again. So let's get started on how to do this. First of all, you need to download the codec and install it. Otherwise, it won't work with Vegas. The link to it will be in the description. And don't worry about viruses or something like that. I'm using the exact same file for my PC. Install the file and open up Vegas. I'm gonna use example file here just to demonstrate. Once you're happy with your edit and it's time to render, you do as usual and select the area you wanna render and click on file, render as. And then untick your favorites, find video for Windows AVI. You will see NTSC DV, click that and then customize template. Once in there, the first thing you want to do is change the video format to x264, should be at the bottom of the list. Go up to frame size and use HD 1080, which is basically 1080p. On the frame rate we want to use 60 for 60fps and none in field order. We're going to use 1 for pixel aspect ratio for best quality. Click the configure on the x264 and copy my template that I have here. I have tried a lot of different settings here and uh, what you see here is basically what works best for me. It's super important to tick the serial latency otherwise the sound won't sync with your video once you're rendering it. Other than that you can play around with the CRF. I keep it at 18 but you can probably fool around with it and see whatever suits you best. Click OK and then go up to template and name it so you will remember it until the next time you're gonna use it. I'm gonna type H264 render option and click the save. After that, we're just going to take OK and then mark it with a star so we have it as a favorite. And now we can actually click on show favorites only. Name your file, I'm going to name mine test and then we're going to click render. As you might see the rendering is super quick on this but the downside is that the files are a little bit bigger than if you were using mp4 file. But it really makes up to it in quality. And it's done. Let's have a look at it. Keep in mind that this is on my VLC video player on my PC, so it's not a pre-rendered file or anything. Anyway guys, that's how you install and use the H.264 encoder in Sony Vegas. I don't think it matters which uh, version you have, so I hope you liked the video. And if you did, if it helped you, please leave me a comment, a like, and if you aren't already, please subscribe. See you in the next video.